We're in the, uh, in the second year now of our smoke tracking project on the River Usk. Um, you can see we've got the, the upper River Usk behind me with our, our rotary screw trap, which we'll be fishing later on. Um, we've got approximately 46 receivers from the upper river down to the estuary and we'll be tagging 100 salmon smokes with uh, small acoustic tags of 0 0.64, 0 0.65 of a gram and they'll tell us exactly what these smokes are doing on their journey from the upper river down to, uh, down to the estuary. The salmon stocks at the moment in the Usk are probably at an all-time low so this will re really give us a good idea of, uh, of what's happened to these fish in this, this critical life stage. The rotary screw trap behind us, this catches the smolts on their, their, their downstream journey. Um, what we'll do, we'll fish this during the evenings at, at night time. This we're fishing throughout the night, we'll check the trap every hour, um, bring any fish we catch back to the, the tagging site. They'll be processed, measured, um, any smolts over 120 mil. So we can then tag those fish, they'll go into a recovery tank on the bank, then subsequently a recovery tank in the river for an hour. And once they've recovered, they're, they're acting normally, we'll then release those into the, into the river. And we normally finish up around about, about two, to, 2 to 3 in the morning. Much later, and we'll be releasing fish into daylight. So that seems to, that seems to work for us. The major thing for us really is the, uh, the barriers to the migration on the way down. So that could be uh, delays to the migration, uh, the migration period. So we're looking at um, they'll have an opt optimal physiological window where they have to enter the, uh, the marine environment. So delays at barriers such as bridge footings or, uh, or weirs, that can cause uh, mortality to some extent. And also we're looking at predation, so predation from fish eating birds or large trout. So up until this point we really didn't know how many smolts we're getting to see. So this will give us a really good idea and, and give us an idea of uh, mitigation measures and what we can do to improve the, uh, the success of these fish during their, uh, their migratory period.